currently four days, four days, we're in the single digits, four days out from my very first show. I am ecstatic and I am currently running last minute errands, just things to do during peak week. I got my car, the brakes fixed on my car this morning. Currently on my way to get my hair done. I am debating about getting my eyebrows threaded because they have been looking pretty ratchet lately. So yes, getting my hair done. I'm gonna probably go a lot blonder. I was not 100% sure what I wanted to do with my hair because judges tend to really favor brunettes on stage. So that's kind of frustrating for us blondes. So if anyone follows Lauren Bondi, bon I don't know, I'm terrible at pronouncing people's last names. But if you follow her, she just went from blonde to brunette and looks fire. Like she looks so good. And I was like going back and forth, like do I really want to dye my hair brown? Like she almost gave me the confidence to do it. But I think I'm gonna play it safe and just go with my natural blonde. So like you can see right now, my roots are like super dark. But yeah, so I will show you what I get for my errands. I'm gonna try to go get makeup somewhere as well. Um, so hopefully I have time to do that. So that's on the agenda for today. I will also be prepping my meals for this week. And like I said before in one of my previous videos that this is not necessarily a typical peak week. I'm doing like a modified peak week. I'm keeping my days keto until Thursday and then Thursday I carb up. Friday is another keto day and then Saturday is another carb day. So it's not like the typical um, peak week, but that is the game plan for right now. So I am going to go to my hair appointment and I will catch you guys after that. So I'll see you later. the hairstyle that you usually have when you are leaving the salon but my stylist and I we decided to do let me roll up the windows my stylist and I uh, we left a treatment in my hair it's so fun I've never seen it like this before in a long time uh, we left a treatment in my hair so it'll be super shiny and super um, like soft and everything for the show on Saturday so I just got to keep it like this for a couple days so I'm on my way home I will not have time for eyebrows but I will be prepping my food and I wasn't able to get any makeup which isn't the end of the world I've got like my essentials and my necessities so I'm not freaking out because everything else would just be a bonus and my big show eyes on the prize is June 25th so that's my update and we'll see what this looks like uh when i actually take it down so i will catch you in the next clip which will probably be food hey guys i thought i would come at you with some commentary on my food prep before i do anything i usually preheat my oven while the oven heats up i started off by cooking some green beans I sprayed a cast iron skillet with some Pam and I cooked the green beans over medium heat for about 10 minutes or until they're tender or lightly browned. Next up, I'm browning some lean ground turkey in another skillet. I cook until the meat is cooked through or like lightly golden. While that's all cooking, I'm getting ready to bake my asparagus even though I typically prefer to cook them by stove top. I cook them at 375 for 10 to 15 minutes and then flip them over and cook for another 10 to 15. Next up is tilapia, which I'm pan searing for about 5 to 7 minutes on each side or until golden brown and flaky and crispy. I really like broiling fish and I will prefer to do that over pan searing, but this still works. So I'm flipping over the tilapia in this video and then making sure the asparagus is ready to be flipped. Next up, I'm going to be cooking some sweet potato. You can see that I'm cubing the sweet potato, but after watching Taylor Chamberlain's YouTube channel, I will only be baking them whole from now on. Uh, but in this video, I cook them for about 20 minutes, flip them, and cook them for an additional 20 minutes. Um, I will show you another video where I bake the sweet potatoes whole. It's my absolute new favorite way to cook them. So once I put everything away, I'm going to start meal prepping for the next day. You'll see that I have all my asparagus, turkey, green beans, and tilapia. And then I'm going to start 
putting everything into Tupperware. The night before, I get on my fitness pal and I calculate all my meals, so all I have to do is measure out and portion my food. Meal prepping can seem overwhelming at first, but it gets easier the more you do it. Just start with foods that take the longest and prepare your staples first. I didn't use any seasoning while cooking during since it's peak week, so you can see that I measure out my condiments and my salt. Last clip, I have all my sweet potato getting ready to meal prep for the road. All right, hey guys, there is someone in the car next to me, so it's super awkward that I'm vlogging, but I am picking up last minute essentials for show day on Saturday, which is in two freaking days. So just picking up some makeup, lashes, uh, last minute groceries, anything like that. So I will show you what I get, or I'll take you along for the ride. We'll see, we'll see what happens in the next clip. So stay tuned. Today was my last workout. I did a circuit workout. Um, gonna show you, well, tell you. I did each exercise in the circuit for a total of 12 times. I did three rounds of the circuit. I did um, bent over, dumbbell row, lat pull downs, bench, lat raises, tricep kickbacks, dumbbell curls, body weight squats, leg extension, line ham curls, calf raises, glute kickbacks, and I ended with just some ab exercises, some crunches. So I did three rounds of that with about one to two minutes in between. Um, very, very lightweight, probably about 50 to 60% of the weight that you normally do, but it's really important that you're not going to failure or you're not doing um, any, like, it's not super, super difficult or um, exhausting. It was kind of just a very light circuit workout. And then I posed for probably about a half hour to an hour. I have no idea where the time went. So that's it. I am going to go try to get my suit bottoms fixed because they are too tight. So I'll see you wherever this next clip takes place. Hey guys, so we are in the car right now and I am on the way to my coach's house. I am not driving, boyfriend is driving, but he does not want to be in the shop. <laughs> so I am on my way to do some last minute posing with her um, and I am getting my first coat of tan. So I don't know if you can see, but we're super pale, no makeup right now. Um, so that will change in just a bit. And then once we get back to the house, we have some last minute packing and eating lunch. And then we're going to hit the road. So when you see me in a little bit, I will be much, much darker. So I'll see you in the next clip.
when packing food for your shows or actually just food anywhere you go when you're prepping is to put everything in baggies so you can fit more and you don't have to worry about the Tupperware. So this is half of my meals for today and all of my meals for Saturday on show day. So everything for today and then all my meals in this little bag and just this tiny little container. So we just got back from check-ins and then we went to Chipotle to get boyfriend some food and then I am going to be eating meal four, which is asparagus and some lean ground beef from a baggie because prep life. And we are probably going to watch some, what are we going to watch? <laughs> We're not watching. <laughs> We're not watching 24. What are we gonna watch on Hulu? We're gonna do it. <laughs> We're not gonna do it. <laughs> We're gonna watch something on Hulu, and then probably go to bed early. And then I am going to paint my toes, and then eat meal five and go to bed because I am exhausted. It was supposed to be a two and a half, three-ish hour drive, and it turned into like five. And it was not fun the first half. So I'm going to eat meal four. And then, I don't know. We'll see where the rest of the night takes us. <laughs> see you guys in the next clip.